Roundup, the most widely used weed killer in the world. Herbicide is the technical name for it. It's also the most controversial. Why? Because there have been allegations that it's a carcinogen. Well, let's take a quick look at that. First of all, what is a herbicide? A herbicide is something that kills plants. And you can see it does that. Of course, we want to kill weeds, not corn, not soy, etc. So corn and soy and cotton and canola have been genetically engineered to resist Roundup. But what about our exposure to this? What about residues on our food, etc.? Well, the International Agency for Research on Cancer has called Roundup or glyphosate a probable human carcinogen. And that sounds scary. However, what does it really mean? It means that it has the potential of causing cancer, not that it does. Exposure, of course, is extremely important. The same kind of things that are in the category of, of, uh, of glyphosate on the International Agency for Research on Cancer's list, things like hot beverages, tea, for example. If you drink a lot of hot tea, that can cause cancer of the esophagus. It's in the same category. What else? Well, if you like to eat bread or anything that's fried, like my schnitzel sandwich here, that will contain some acrylamide naturally occurring. That is in the same category. Of course, the question is how much exposure is important. The fact is that it would have to be tremendous exposure to reach the amounts where this thing becomes carcinogenic. So I don't really worry about trace residues of glyphosate in our food any more than I worry about the acrylamide that's present in my mm, delicious snitchel sandwich, which goes down very nice with my hot tea.